I'll just remember your name and uh, lot number, please. Uh, good evening. I'm Jeff Bittner, lot 1897. Uh, can everybody hear me okay? Okay, thank you. I'm here to talk about the recall and the special meeting petitions, as well as the recall procedures our group of concerned citizens had initiated and intend to follow. This is why our group got together. First reading of bylaw clarification regarding dangerous wakes of lake enhancing devices were presented by the Lakes Committee and passed by the previous Board of Directors to allow for further discussion. At the next month's meeting, a decision was made to take wake surfing to the public for a ballot vote. The ballots were mailed and votes were paid. This is a board action. Okay? The people voted not to allow wake surfing or the use of wake enhancing devices on the lake. The election took place, a community election, with two new members, Matt Eusen and Chris Fox, being elected. Matt Eusen was voted by the board to be president, Chris Fox to be vice president. They, along with Michelle Snyder, treasurer, quickly overruled the vote of the people with a new replacement bylaw initiated by Mr. Eusen and approved by Chris and Michelle. They had no regard for the community vote and completely reversed the existing bylaw which now allows for all manner of weight surfing and the use of weight enhancing devices. Their actions taking control, threats, and intimidation at committee level caused many very, uh, qual very qualified volunteers to resign from their committees. <laughs> this is what we're doing about it. Let me preface by saying in most situations, could you move that microphone closer to you? Because certainly. Yeah. There you better? Yeah. Yeah. Better? Okay. Yeah. Let me preface by saying in most situations, if our articles of incorporation or bylaws cover a known issue, the Indiana Code allows for articles of incorporation and bylaws to take precedence. Indiana Code for HOAs and for nonprofit corporations would apply if the bylaws and articles were lacking coverage. Okay? We have collected over 275 petitions for the removal of Matt Hewson and over 263 for the removal of Chris Fox. These were presented to the Board of Directors Secretary Pat Hawkins on August 22nd, 2024, just prior to the start of the monthly Board of Directors meeting. Each petition named either Matt Houston or Chris Fox to be removed from the board. They contain the following. We, the undersigned homeowners of Hidden Valley Lake, hereby petition for the removal of Matt Houston or Chris Fox from the Board of Directors. It also includes, we respectfully request that the Board of Directors initiate proceedings remove Matt Houston or Chris Fox from this position and hold a special meeting to address that this matter. At the time of our articles of incorporation or bylaws, at the time our articles of bylaws did not address the recall of a board member. This is addressed in the nonprofit section of the Indiana Code. Code 231710 You'll notice that's a little different from what was sent out, but this is the code that covers it. Paragraph A1, if the holders of at least 10% of all the votes entitled to be cast on an issue proposed to be considered at the proposed special meeting, sign date delivered to the corporation's secretary, at least one written demand for the meeting describing the purpose for which the meeting is to be held. This allowed us to do uh, petitions for a special meeting because we far surpassed the 10% required. Mm -hmm. Paragraph 2C, if a notice for a special meeting demanded under subsection two is not given under section five of this chapter. Within 30 days after the date, the written demand is delivered to the corporation secretary. A person signing that demand may do the following, set the time and place of the meeting, give notice for the meeting, okay? Indiana code, and these, these are all the nonprofit codes, okay? Indiana code 231715, notice of meetings. A corporation shall give notice of meetings of members in a fair and reasonable manner. 5C, unless fair and reasonable notice is otherwise specified in a corporation's bylaws, notice is fair and reasonable if the following occur. The corporation notifies the corporation's members of the place, date, and time of each annual, regular, and special meeting of members. Not less than 10 days of the notice is mailed by other than first class or registered mail, 30 days or 60 days. Before that, if it's not first class. P the POA, POA bylaws in 172 special meetings state resident 
and, tr and property owners of Hidden Valley shall be notified of special board meetings by posted printed, printed notice, email notice, and POA website posted notice, also on 48 hours. This gives the members notice of why, where, and when the special meeting occurs. Mm -hmm. The meeting's sole purpose is to have a vote on whether or not to move forward with the ballot to recall Matt Houston and or Chris Fox from the board of directors. We will give the signature list with the signature's lot number, signator's lot number, and their vote to send the ballots out to the Hidden Valley Lake Elections Panel to verify signatures. After the results of a special meeting are tabulated, <clears throat> if affirmative, send out the ballots. The election panel will prepare the ballots and proceed with the recall election as per the standard operating procedures. <clears throat> These are just a couple of little applicable <clears throat> bylaw information. 1-3, elections. Hidden Valley Lake POA membership and voting rights. Each qualified Hidden Valley Lake POA member and or membership shall have one vote in the POA, POA Board of Electors, Board of Directors elections, recounts, recalls, and special or referendum elections. Okay, so it covers the recalls and the special elections. Hidden Valley POA Safety, Security, and Election Committee responsibilities. The election subcommittee is responsible for overseeing all elections, recounts, recalls, and special or ref referendum elections. So that's saying that elections committee or now the elections panel is responsible for the oversight of this. Subjects of this recall, Matt Houston and Chris Fox, can in no way participate in how to run the recall voting for an election. Additional safeguards may have to be put in place to protect the integrity of the election process. This will be determined solely by the election panel. If the recall is successful, the remaining board members will, if the quorum exists, fill the vacant seat or seats by appointment. If no quorum exists or results in a tie, committee chairs will be included in the appointment process as well. I would like to thank you for the time on this particular issue. One last thing. I have a copy of the letter that was handed to the board, each one of the board members. And it's to the board of the directors of Hidden Valley Lake. And this is by Tom Cross, okay? As you are aware, petitions to remove two current board members were presented to the board secretary at the board of directors meeting on August 22nd, 2024. As per Indiana law, the board had a window of 30 days from that date to call a special meeting to arrange a ballot for removal of the two named board members. If the board failed to set a time, date, and place for the special meeting, then Indiana law specifies that any of the signed petitioners may do so. Since the 30-day window has expired, the board has not scheduled a special meeting. I am giving notice, notice, and again, this is Tom, to the board that I have scheduled a special meeting. The special meeting will be held on Thursday, October 3rd, 2024, at Sugar Ridge Golf Course Event Center between the hours of 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. This will allow Hidden Valley Lake residents the opportunity to stop by at their convenience, ask any questions, and express their opinions about the ballot for removal of the two named board members. According to existing HVL bylaw 172, you are responsible for notifying all residents of special meetings. Therefore, please provide a special meeting notice to the hidden value residents by using all resources available to you, including happenings and lists served preferably by September 27th, 2024. Respectfully, Tom Cross. And here's, you got a copy of the, the notes. So we'd like to see that go out tomorrow. That's it for me. All this is stemmed. Let me ask you this film with a question. All this is stemmed over the weight boat, correct? It started with the weight boat. Okay. <laughs> if this would have went through and we weren't allowing weight boats on the lake, how many lawsuits do you think we'd be looking at right now? Probably zero. Who cares? Uh, White folks are a problem all across the country. It's not just us. We know how many lawsuits do you think we're looking at? I'm not a position man. We've, we've allowed these folks to be on the lake. We did not allow us. I appreciate I appreciate everybody wanting to voice um, their opinion, but 
we were clear that it's just one at a time. Okay. In, I'm into sorry, the guys. microphone only because we are trying to capture all this okay. and put it into the minutes. And so, please, if you if you want to voice your opinion, just I just voiced it. So I will oh, name yeah. name, 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 name and lot. Name and lot. Name and lot. Name and lot. Okay.